everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg, and today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look featuring the Vault Collection by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Today, myself and Luna, who's back there chilling, hanging out, wanted to share one of the four palettes from the Vault Collection, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. If you haven't heard about this, Maybe you're living under a rock, but Jaclyn Hill released four eyeshadow palettes with Morphe. I have an entire review, first impression. I swatch every single eyeshadow on my eye. Thanks, Luna, for showing us that. That's... Sorry about the dog, but... <laughs> Anyways... I have an entire review first impression I swatch all 40 eyeshadows on my eyes so you guys can really see how these shadows perform how they apply if it's worth your money all that good stuff yada 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 it'll be linked up above and also down below and today um I really wanted to get in and play with the shadows because swatching again you're not really getting a whole chance to really work with them so I'm gonna be making my way through all four palettes for you so first up is armed and gorgeous and this is definitely more of a fall color palette and you can see that's what I went with today um, yeah so let's go ahead jump right in the first thing that I am going to do the one thing that all of these palettes is missing in my opinion is a matte cream or a matte white color so I'm just pulling this color from my KKW X Mario palette. You guys can use any sort of matte white shadow that you have. I just like to pack it right under my brow bone so I don't have to fuss with it later. Our very first color that we're gonna use is Secure. It is like this medium orangey brown. And I'm going to actually end up using an Morphe M433 for most of the shadows today. Um, so I'm just taking that. It's like a really nice fluffy brush. It's like a medium sized fluffy brush. I'm gonna get that mostly into the crease. You can also bring this a little bit down onto your lid because we will be doing a half cut crease for this look. So I'm just really going to focus on blowing out the shadow. I want to blend it up and out. So I'm going to be holding my brush so it is angled upwards to really blend that up towards my brow bone. To blend out secure, I'm gonna take access, and this is, it kinda like reminds me of the macaroni and cheese kind of color. And I'm just gonna use that same brush, and I'm just using very light pressure here, and I am just going to use circular motions and back and forth to really blend that up towards the brow bone. And I just really like how nice this works as a transition color. Now to go in and deepen things up a little bit, I'm gonna take Smooth Criminal again on the same brush and I'm really gonna concentrate this on my crease and I'm really gonna focus on going from outer corner all the way to the inner corner. Again, it's fine to get some of this on our lid because you wanna have that shadow there when we cut the crease. So I'm just really gonna pack this on. I'm also gonna start bringing this down onto the outer third of my lid. Again, I am using circular and windshield wiper motions. With this color, I don't want it to be super blended out and smoked out. So I'm holding this brush parallel with the desk or like the ground. Um, so I'm keeping it pretty direct and having control over where the color is gonna blend that way. Now to deepen things up, I am going to take the color Prowl on a, I think this is called Lerma 201 blending brush. It has a little bit of an oval shape. So for me and my eye shape, this works really well to deepen the crease. So I'm gonna concentrate this color on the outer third of my lid going back and forth. And then again, I'm gonna bring it all the way to the inner corner in my crease. I'm not really gonna surpass the Smooth Criminal color. I'm again, keeping it pretty level and parallel to the ground at this point because that is the precise area that I want this color. Now with that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Top Secret. This is like an olive army green. I am obsessed with this color. And I'm just going to put that right on top of where we put the darkest color prowl. 
And I'm gonna focus this more on bringing it about halfway into my lid because that is where I'm gonna transition from where the cut crease is. And you guys have also seen me pull out my big fluffy brush. I think it's important to just give everything a once over blend after each step to really make sure your shadows look like a beautiful gradient. I really think the green is going to add a whole other pop of color to this look to make it that much more interesting. And this is giving me such fall vibes right now, even though I want summer to stay. For the cut crease, I am going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and I am taking a Sephora concealer brush to carve my crease out. I'm going a little bit higher than where my mobile lid ends, just so when my eyes are open you can see that hint that hint of concealer, which is where we're gonna have the shimmery shadow. So when your eyes are open, you can still, it looks like your eye is extended up a little bit, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna drag this concealer about halfway out to my lid. Now to blend the cut crease into the rest of the matte colors, I'm going back in with Top Secret, that olive green, and I'm going to pack that on almost to the inner corner and just really blend it into the outer corner of our eye and blend it into those crease colors. Now for the fun part of the look, which is like the sparkly inner corner, I'm taking Classified. This is such a beautiful gold color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna look amazing with these other colors and I'm just packing that on the inner third especially. And then to add some sparkle and to blend it into the green, I'm actually gonna carry over what's left over onto that olive green color. And it's just gonna make everything look nice and seamless and just slowly fade out into the darker colors of the crease. And I'm just obsessed with how this looks. Okay, my camera overheated. So I am back. I just took a really thin line of black liner, like as thin as possible to my lashes and just added that and I added some mascara. I'm like not decided if I wanna add falsies or not. I know that they'll make the look pop, but I'm just so not into falsies. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on yet. And I did add a liquid lip. I wanted to go dark, so I took the Sade I took the shade Sauvage from Dose of Colors. This is with the Katie and Desi collection, which like came out a year ago, which is absolutely nuts because I love that collection. And uh, yeah, I have not nearly worn this color enough. And today, no excuses. All right, on to the lower lash line and then we will be done with this. I'm gonna go back into Prowl, which is the darkest shade in this palette. I'm really gonna hug my lashes, so I'm gonna take the Morphe M432. I love this, it is very flat brush. And again, I'm gonna get right up to where the root of my lashes are, stamp and wiggle. And I don't really have any complaints with the shadow, by the way. Like, if anything, there's just like a few little specks that were on my face from the glitter. But I've had no fallout with the actual shadows, which is amazing because that is one of the reasons why I love the original Morphe and Jaclyn palette. I'm really gonna pack this on because I love to heavily smoke out my lower lash line. Um, obviously, you just do what you're comfortable with and what works for you. I'm gonna go back into Top Secret, the olive green. And to blend this, I'm using a Morphe Y22. This really is like a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge this on and blend it into that prowl color. And I want to deepen this a little bit more, so I'm gonna take a combination of prowl and smooth criminal using that same brush. Now I'm just gonna go back with that fluffy brush that we use for our crease and I'm gonna lightly blend the edges here. Taking 
a Morphe E36. I'm now going to use the shade Agent. So it's kind of a mix between Secure and Access. And then I'm just going to smoke this out. I'm really liking how this is turning out. And then I'm just going to go back with the flat top brush in that darkest color and just press it against my lashes again to give the illusion of there being a liner. The hilarious thing is, is that I didn't think that I actually wanted this palette. I thought I was just going to get Dark Magic and Bling Boss, which is like the cool tone palette and then the purpley pink palette. And then I just talked myself into getting the other two because I was like, okay, you know, it's a bargain. Maybe I can use it for freelancing, whatever. I talked myself into it and here I am playing with this collection. And this is the first palette that I'm pulling from. And I was like, I probably won't reach for it. <laughs> I don't even know myself, apparently. Alrighty, perfect. I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. I love using the MAC Extend and Play on my lower lashes. It gets really close to the root because a wand is super skinny and small. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But before I zoom out, I just wanna show you guys the palette because I know a lot of people talk about Fallout. That seems to be the newest trend when picking apart shadows. This is not an excessive amount of fallout whatsoever. This is pretty typical. Um, and I really enjoyed how these form or how this uh, formula is and how the shadows were pressed. And I'm going to stop because I can't talk. So hopefully once I get my mascara on, I'll be able to use my words better. I am back with the finished look and also Luna says, hi, what's up, y'all? She's not very amused. It's been a very rainy day, so my hair is a little bit screwy, so I don't mind that. But yes, I am finished with the tutorial. I am so obsessed with how this eye look turned out. I definitely think that the Armed and Gorgeous is a great go-to fall palette. It has like everything that you could possibly need for fall colors and I'm really obsessed with it. I'm also doing a foundation wear test currently for the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I am filming a lot, a lot of content, a lot of reviews, a lot of tutorials right now so I'm not sure the order of things going up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out but also if this video is up I will link it up above and if it's not up yet the review on this foundation will be up very very soon let me know your thoughts on the vault collection with Jaclyn Hill will you be purchasing will you not be purchasing again with the armed and gorgeous palette this is the one that I truly got to sat down and play with I use a lot of the colors in this palette it's very reminiscent of her OG palette with Morphe and I am obsessed this is my favorite palette this is my most used palette the formulation on here is really easy. You don't have to work hard to get the shadows to perform. You don't have to pack on the shadows a lot. You're not getting fallout all over your place, all over your face, all over the place. It blends really easily and the end result, you can still see it didn't blend into a muddy mess either. You can see the nice gradient of the lightest macaroni cheese color going down to the darkest color. You don't really lose things together. It's separated but blended enough, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna stop rambling about how much I love the formulation of this palette. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. What else would you like to see on this channel? There's definitely gonna be a lot of reviews coming, but what would you like to see from me? Please tell me. I wanna put out content that you enjoy watching too. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.